remember that cute little bunny family that we said was going to foster? Well, we have one right here in studio with Perry. Please introduce us to him. This is the cloud. It looks like a cloud. How a big, fluffy, cumulus cloud. This little one, like you said, came in with a bunch of other bunnies, uh, strays, and went off to foster hero Leia's house where she just did a great job with this bunny. You know, they uh, are special animals that require special care, so do your homework with them. Go to our uh, website, azhumane.org, our pet behavior tips, and you'll read all about rabbits on there, about their habitat, which should be a pretty spacious cage with a f solid bottom. Plenty of veggies in there. Uh, they love greens, they love kale, they love lettuce, they love parsley, they love cilantro, occasional strawberry, something like that. And of course, Timothy Hay is a must. Gourmet rabbit pellets and plenty of water, plenty of massaging, plenty of socialization, getting those big strong legs out there. Look how pretty the cloud is. Is this an appropriate name for this gorgeous, gorgeous bunny? Definitely. If you've never had a rabbit before, come on down and check out the cloud. Thank you, Perry. Now, I'm a firm believer that you should never judge a book by its cover. This pity right here is being credited with saving this child's life. When he, when she was barking and giving the mom a shout out, saying like, hey, there's a fire outside. The mom went out, saw that it was coming over to their house. When she went back in, this pity was dragging the baby by its diaper and saved her life. Now, it it's giving me absolute chills, and we are so glad that this beautiful Sasha saved that family. Now, there's nothing cuter than a little meow for a kitty cat, and I'm guess. Oops, now there's. Sorry about that. Now it breaks my heart when we have older pups who have to be surrendered to us. Please tell us about this boy, Lisa. Skippy is 13 years old, and his owner sadly passed away and the family wasn't able to take Skippy on, so luckily they brought him to us. He has a lot of life left in him. He's a little Jack Russell Terrier, um, starting to lose his vision a little bit, but doesn't phase him in the least. He loves these back scratches. He rubs himself all up and down against you. Cutest little guy, having a little bit of a hard time at the shelter. He's really looking for somebody that wants to take him home and, lets, and will let him make himself at home on your sofa. So come down and meet little Skippy. He's got a lot of life left to share. <laughs> Thank you. And speaking of a lot of life, Janine, look at that girl. I think you can talk about her best. Oh my gosh, this is Amber. I have to tell you, <clears throat> I am in love with this kitten because I fostered her myself for nine weeks. I've had the best time with her. She's this gorgeous little cream and white little love bug. She's super, she's the most balanced kitten I've had in a long time. She loves this toy. She's obsessed with this toy. This is so fun for her. But she's, she's really good with other cats and she's great with dogs, but she does need a little slow introduction to dogs, but she's super curious. And she, she's on this thing 100% of the time. She just has so much fun with this toy. It's, you know, the, I, someone has to come adopt this one because I just love her. Yes, she is so sweet. Thank you, Janine. Now, our campers have been having such a wonderful time at our different sessions, but we're offering you 50% off for our Animal Science Unleashed Camp taking place the 25th through the 29th. Use promo code CAMP50 to get 50% off. And we have another little cutie who is just so adorable, Perry. Right. Uh, we have a Yorkie, folks. People always ask, do you get Yorkies? Here is one. This little guy came in as an injured stray and uh, is doing quite well. Though he's badly matted, just in very bad shape. And Lisa, I think we need a haircut after the show for Philly. Uh, this little guy, though, like I said, he's a little timid right now. We don't know his background. And a lot of people, we're, we're aging at four. And a lot of people say, well, how do you tell the age of a stray? Well, our vets do that. They look at their teeth as the most significant way. The way they're rounded, the way they're worn, the size, the tartar, the levels on them. That's how we age them. I understand there's some high-tech things of using scopes with on and looking at their eyes, but right now we just use the teeth method, and it's pretty accurate, I think. So if you're looking for that perfect Yorkie in your life, here is the little Philly. <laughs> Thank you, Perry. Now, for all my fellow Star Wars fans, this brother-sister duo is not going to disappoint. Make sure to stay tuned.